guys welcome once again to my channel in my last video uh, I, I saw you how to set IP addresses in router PC and yeah today uh, I'm gonna discuss more about how we assign IP addresses on serial port till now we only did on Ethernet port but today I'm gonna show you how we assign IP addresses on serial port okay before starting on packet tracer we need to make sure that what is the ethernet and serial cable and where do we use this cable so we'll try to make a bit clear about it so basically for LAN purpose we use ethernet cable but if you need to connect to LAN we use the serial cable I mean like if you want to connect connect to different LAN so we basically use the DT cable that's serial cable so this little tip should be enough for you to understand and you can remember if you need to connect to routers we use Ethernet cable if you need to connect to routers we use CDO port and if you need to connect with router switch or switch to PC we use Ethernet cable so yeah Okay, so I think now you'll not be confused between the cables. Now let's move into the packet tracer and let's see how does this work. Okay, so now here you can see a network diagram, two network diagrams actually. For one of them, I have given IP address 192.168.1.0, and for the other one, 192.168.2.0. So I have already assigned IP addresses on the router, PC, uh, and the server laptop. Okay, so everything is similar. So I just I had did in my uh, last video. So you should guys still confused how to set IP addresses I would suggest you to to visit my last video where you can and see how to uh, configure IP addresses I okay, now let's come to the point so these two are different router of different LAN so to connect these two LAN we use the serial DTE you connect uh, sorry okay so first make sure you got ports that is serial port but now you can see there is only the Ethernet port and VLAN and we need to get the serial port so to get that one click on your router Just give me a second. Yeah, just click on your router. Sorry, my PC is a bit slow. seems good so we yeah, okay there you go so go to the physical then this hwic sftp add this one now you see here you cannot add a module when the power is on so this is the thing i like the most of this back tracer is that it's kind of you know real thing so you need to make sure that you turn off your router first then you can add then again turn it on so make sure you add the SFP and 2T okay so once it done just turn it off then same thing with the other one go to the physical and make sure you turn it 
off. Mm. Then I can turn it on. It takes a bit time to to reconfigure. Okay, so turn it on. And figure it's neat. And again, I have to assign IP address here, you know, because I turn it, turn it, turn off the router. So hold on. So one minute. And here you go. I build the set. Same thing here as well. One. One. Done. Okay, so I hope uh, you can transfer messages from project. Here you go. Now it's done. They check on the other side. Yeah, it's a successful so our land is completely established and running so let's work with serial i guess uh grab the serial cable so now you need to so you're you're configure configuring in serial port so make sure you choose the serial not the uh ethernet or auxiliary console so most of the time in packet tracer we use only the ethernet and serial cable so yeah, you be careful with the couple links okay. Here to here, so there will be again as you see there is a connection establishes between two lands and we're able to connect to LAN with the help of serial cable. So as I said IP address is required so that everyone know each other and and that can fall from one line to other line. So it's connected in the same zero slash one slash to one so so let's give a IP address I get x i t here you go enable and do this and then dot dot one dot one if you guys are confused about what i'm typing i do suggest you to visit my last video where i have explained about everything okay yeah, that's it so let's do the same thing on the other router Enable config D it's on same Ethernet, same serial port. So IP and then Now you can see on your diagram that it's turned to green that means it's working and if we from one order another router okay it is successful that means connection is successfully establishes so i uh, i'm sure that you guys know about the network so in this diagram we have three networks one here one here and one this one so we have assigned different IP addresses you can see here 10 dot for the serial 10 for the serial class A and the class C for the lens okay but if you try to transfer data from one LAN to another LAN you can't do it guys they don't know each other yet so enable to do so we have to have route 